Good morning. This is Don V with Truth Be Told. And we have several uh, good uh, news reports here that we'd like to release to our uh, the public to uh, make their own decisions on. A lot of alleged information here. Uh, one of them has to do with an email that the Biden administration has been moving, using the military to move illegal aliens uh, across the country. Boy, DJT is going to have a lot to deal with. That's for sure. At any rate, without ado, oh, before we go, don't forget to subscribe. 97% uh, of the people who watch my videos are um, not subscribers. So just take a moment. It's completely free. Click subscribe. Click the bell. I'd really appreciate it. All right, moving on. Whistleblower leaks email revealing Biden administration using military to secretly move illegal aliens around the country. And then there's a video with Tucker Carlson. Fox News host Tucker Carlson on Wednesday said a whistleblower leaked an email to him revealing the Biden administration is using the U.S. military to secretly move illegal aliens around the country from Laughlin Air Force Base. The U.S. military is supposed to defend this nation, but now they're secretly aiding and abetting illegal alien invaders. The email written by Lieutenant, Lieutenant uh, Colonel Matthew Burroughs and leaked to the Tucker Carlson reads, over the next few days, weeks, or months, you may see passenger aircraft on our ramp transporting undocumented non-citizens. Please review the attached public affairs guidance on the issue. Burroughs then commanded military men to, to uninform, to hide what was happening on the base from the very Americans they were sworn to serve. Do not take photographs and refrain from posting anything on social media, the email reads. Tucker Carlson reveals the leaked emails showing that they uh, that the U.S. military is moving illegal immigrants secret secretly around the country from Laughlin Air Force Base in Texas. Do not take photographs and refrain from posting anything on social media. The email reads. Let's go ahead and play this. They're hiding it right now. So what exactly are they doing? Tonight we have new information for you that answers that question, at least in part. This show has confirmed that the Biden administration has enlisted the U.S. Oops, sorry about that. U.S. military to move illegal immigrants secretly around our country. That is happening at Laughlin Air Force Base in Texas. We know it's happening there because a man called Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Burroughs sent his subordinates an email spelling it out very clearly. Quote, over the next few days, weeks, or months, the note began, you may see passenger aircraft on our ramp transporting undocumented non-citizens. Please review the attached public affairs guidance on the issue. Burroughs's email then instructed uniformed military personnel to hide what was happening on the base from the country they're sworn to serve. Quote, do not take photographs and refrain from posting anything on social media. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Burroughs offered no national security justification for keeping any of this secret because there is no national security justification for keeping it from the rest of us. He just told the people who work for him not to talk. Now, we got his email from a whistleblower, and at first we doubted it could be real. During the last administration, you'll remember, the Pentagon firmly refused to protect America's southern border. That's not our job, they said. It's too political. Send us to Syria. And yet, according to this document, here was the very same U.S. military leadership at the Pentagon helping the Biden administration with maximum enforced stealth, with secrecy, to subvert this country's core immigration laws. It was hard to believe that could be happening, but it is happening. The Pentagon has confirmed it to us. Spokesman Chris Mitchell described the flights from Laughlin as non-citizen movement, part of what he called the U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement's mission. He told us then to direct any further questions to ICE. So we did. We called ICE multiple times. ICE did not deny they were using Laughlin Air Force Base to relocate large numbers of foreign nationals into the interior of our country and do it secretly. The question is, where are all these people going? Several times, ICE promised us additional details, but in the end, we never heard back. Apparently, Americans do not have a right to know where foreign nationals are being resettled in their own country. We do know, thanks to the Center for Immigration Studies, that the administration, the Biden administration, has been sending illegal migrants all over the United States for some time now. Watch this. What's happening most of the time... Huh apparently that's all of it 
These people just make me sick, and they need to do something seriously needs to be done about this. Uh, they are just doing whatever they can to destroy what's left of our republic, that's for sure. Okay. All right, it says, uh, fantastic. Tucker Carlson covers the EF in Fulton County, Georgia, eight months after the E. Here are the background reports, and there's a video. I can't play the video because uh, there's words that are used in there that uh, will flag my uh, my video. It says, uh, there is no greater issue today in the U.S. than the November 3rd EF. Without free and fair democratic ease, the United States will cease to exist. We understand this at the Gateway Pundit, and we've always understood this. On Wednesday night, Fox News host Tucker Carlson reported on several questionable activities that took place in Fulton County, Georgia, since November 3rd, P.E. It was a great segment. It was really good. We don't do this very often, but we wanted to go through these revelations one by one, discussed by Tucker Carlson on his show tonight. The Gateway Pundit reported on every one of these examples of F in Fulton County, Georgia, for several months. We believe it's worth revisiting our reports since we are the ones who have faced an endless amount of attacks from fake news and even Republicans and naysayers. 1. That the doors were left open in Fulton County, Georgia, uh, B. Storage facility, while guards were away. Gateway Pundit first reported this on May 31st, 2021. May 31st, 2021, Fulton County, Georgia bat ballot storage facility was left open for hours. Attorney's own hired staff discovered the place wide open. Two, that a Fulton County EO identified by the Gateway Pundit as Ruby Freeman was feeding stacks of ballots through the VM at least three times each on November 4th in the early morning after the GOP EO were told to go home. Joel Holt uh, Hoff uh, at the Gateway Pundit was first to report on the shocking video back in December 4th, 2020. December 4th, 2020, anti-Trump uh, Democrat and Georgia suitcase scandal caught running same batch of bees through T's three times. That Garland uh, Favrado's organization, Voter GA, found several thousand uh, FVs for Joe Biden, and Fulton County, Georgia recount included 60% error in, in its reporting. The Gateway first reported this, and uh, Voter, Voter, Voter GA reported on Tuesday. July 13th, Voter GA released the explosive new report. Fol Fulton County, Georgia uh, recount included 60% E reporting rate, thousands of F uh, slow Joe V's. Identical computer copies of bees counted numerous times in Fulton County. And as you can see, here it is right here. The Gateway of, uh, Pundit reported again on this report by Voter GA earlier today. May 14, 2021. Hard evidence presented. Uh, DBs were counted in Fulton County, Georgia on the 2020 E. Number 5. Pristine and un unfolded bees were counted 100% for Slow Joe in the Fulton County recount. Uh, Christina Lilia at the Gateway Pundit first reported this back on November 18th of 2020. November 18th, 2020, several Georgia recount uh, monitors described odd batches of bees that stood out. Pristine sheets with perfectly marked bubbles. 100% for Slow Joe. We're glad that Tucker Carlson joined us in the investigation, investigating the uh, fraud of the 2020 uh, P.E. tonight. Oh, these people. It's just absolutely ridiculous. The, the uh, flood of information is starting to come out. All right. Woohoo! If you got kids, boy, you're going to get a bunch of free money. On politics, monthly child tax credit payments begin Thursday. Who's eligible and how much could they get? Millions of American families will begin to receive monthly cash payments Thursday as part of the 1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package that 
Slow Joe signed into law in March. The payments are an expansion of the child tax credit and will continue for a year before requiring congressional renew. As many as 90% of American families are eligible to receive hundreds of dollars a month for each child they have, and some experts believe that the policy could ultimately cut child poverty in half. Further, the vast majority of eligible families do not need to do anything to receive the payments, according to the Internal Revenue Service, which is distributing them. But some families that do not file tax returns need to sign up to receive them, and the Treasury estimates that more than 2.3 million families may have to do so. Ah, I wonder if that includes all the people that they're flying all over the country that have hopped across uh, you know where. How much will families get? Eligible parents are able to receive $3,600 a year for each child under 6 and $3,000 for each child under 18 for 2021, according to the bill's text. Payments will be monthly, totaling $300 for families with younger children and $250 for families with older ones. Unlike previous credits, this one is fully refundable, meaning families are eligible to receive it even if they do not have an earned income or do not owe federal income taxes. Of course! The child tax credit extension is also an expansion since under previous credits, families could only receive up to $2,000 per child per year. Who is eligible? Individuals with an income under $75,000 who filed a single tax return are eligible for the full credit, as are married couples with collective income under $150K, who filed jointly and those with income under $125,000 and filed as their head of household. Those payments begin to phase out for higher incomes and drop to zero at 240 k for unmarried taxpayers and 440 k for married couples, according to the Congressional Research Service. The IRS's eligibility assistant tool helps determine who is eligible, though those using it will need to provide a tax document like a W-2 or a 1099. Isn't it comforting to know that all these people that are here illegally can just woo, get tons of money for all those kids that they brought in with them? Hey, maybe we can bring some more in. <laughs> Man, this guy is just losing it with his insane things that he's doing. Him and uh, the Crooked Congress and the Crooked Senate. At any rate, this is Don V with Truth Be Told. Hope you're as shocked as I am. And we are out of here.